No, it's not indigestion. It's hot magma rage against the system. What's up, everyone? We are back with another installment of Astrology Shots to get us through the week of June 26th through July 2nd. Now, there's a few distinctively different and unique astrological currents that we're going to be working with this week. First on the menu is Eris. We got to talk about Eris, and we have not properly given Eris the proper airspace she deserves on this channel. One of these days, I'm going to give you a longer discourse on Eris. But for right now, let's talk about what she is up to this week. So it's really Mars. It's really what, what Mars is up to, because on June 27th, Mars is going to link up with his sister, Eris. So Aries and Eris, their brother and sister on that battlefield. If you've read the Iliad, uh, one, of, one of my, well, Let's say the Odyssey is one of my favorite books. The Iliad, you know, it's part of it. You've got you've got to deal with it if you if you like the Odyssey. But in in the Iliad, there's like blind white rage, like seething anger on on the part of Achilles. And so present with Achilles as he avenges his lover um, is Eris. You know, an Eris loves that iron taste of blood in her mouth. You know, Eris is described as the goddess of discord, of rage, of just anger and destruction. And obviously Mars, our battle deity, you know, the two pair nicely together. They can be very destructive together. But if we break down Eris's myth, there's a reason why she's so pissed off. And the reason for that is that she's been left out. There's this big party and everyone's been invited except her. Eris does not have her seat at the table, a seat that she feels she rightfully deserves. And so that's the whole theme, I think, a very important thread in Eris's mythology is this concept of having a seat at the table. So since 2020, Eris and Pluto have been in a square. And yeah, we, we've been having a lot of discourse about that, about racial inequalities, gender inequalities, about having one seat at the table. This is a phrase that has become very common in our vernacular of late. And one of the things that I'm seeing in addition to that phrase is, you know, if there's no room at the table, we're going to smash it up and make our own. And so that is Eris. That is Eris, everyone. So this week... As Mars aligns with Eris on the 27th of June, and as Mars squares off with Pluto at, at, the, at the end of the week on July 2nd, this is activating this Eris-Pluto square that's been going on that is basically shifting the paradigm in our, in our collective of societal structures, and it's shifting the power grid a little bit. So... When Mars and Eris get together on the 27th, I mean, these two, these two are battle companions. And this is in the sign of Aries, where Mars is particularly strong. So for me, and we, you know, we see this aspect every couple of years, I think there's going to be something that people are going to be raging about. There's going to be something that people are pretty upset about. Um, as of this recording on the solstice, I don't know quite what that is. I mean, there's a lot to be mad about the price of a gallon of gas, um, just, you know, this whole looming Roe v. Wade thing. There's just a lot up in the air right now. So there's going to be something, there's going to be something now looking forward to the end of the week when Mars squares off with Pluto. Well, that is also a volatile aspect. Very often, um, there's some kind of event uh, that corresponds with that, where there's just like a like a huge pressure release um, somewhere in the collective. Um, you know, Jupiter's in Aries. We've been talking a lot about violence. Um, this this there could be something along those lines there. Um, but on a personal level, on a personal level, it's important to recognize that we're all going to be feeling that magma rolling in our belly just a little bit more. And so whether it is a deep seated rage that is going to find a release valve or whether it's just something that happened on the morning commute that just 
ruined your day. There's hot lava in the bellies of many people. You know, not everyone's going to be tapping into this, but keep in mind, a lot of people will. And so people are just going to have like a little bit of a shorter fuse. And if someone blows at you, it might not be anything you did. It might be something from 10 years ago. They're releasing. It needs to get out. You know, this is, this is a very cathartic energy. It's, it's a powerful release, powerful, like monsoon of tears, hurricane rage, just, you know, find a healthy way to get it out, go to the gym and sweat, you know, hit some punch in bags, but don't make someone else your punching bag. You know, we got to be careful of this. We got to be careful. We got to be mindful with this combustible energy. But that said, it's a powerhouse energy and it's happening in the cardinal sign. So this could actually move heaven and earth. Like if there's something you need to get off the ground, if there's something you want to launch, if if there's just like a big project waiting for you in the other room, this is a good one to do it. Put that storm cloud energy into the project and call it a day. So it's likely going to stir the pot a little bit in the collective. This feels like a volcano energy, especially with Eris. This feels like rebellion. This feels like um, a me too. This feels like a, yeah, like there's something about, um, I think Eris has a lot to do with human rights. I really do. And equality. So yeah, there's going to be something there. So we'll just have to wait for it. But in our lives, move move that powerhouse energy where it's going to serve you in the highest. So for now, that is your Mars, Pluto, Eris astrology shot of the week. And I will catch you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, stay connected with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can also get on my mailing list to stay up to date on classes. I've got two monthly meetups and I'm going to be launching a whole new rendition of my foundations course starting this September. So hope to see you there. Bye.